He is so locked in on this first <laughs> spring training game as a manager. Uh, Chuck said Billy Hamilton went over to go get him. Downstairs, Chuck has found the skipper. Uh, Billy Hamilton is now a uh, outfielder and production assistant for NBC Sports Chicago. I'm with Pedro Grafal. Uh, Pedro, your thoughts so far about, about how the team is playing after an inning and a half? Well, I mean, it, it's, it's been pretty much clean. I'm happy with Lance. Lance is throwing the ball good. He gave up those three hits in the first inning and, and got out of it with just one run. And Moncada had a really good at bat, went first to third. So we played a couple innings. You said something, you've said a lot of interesting things so far in camp, and you said what you told the team was something about how important spring training is and how you can't win a World Series in spring, but you sure can lose it. So what does that entail when you say that and what happens on the fields as a result? Oh, it's just uh, effort, effort, details. Um, that's, what I, that's what I mean. I mean, it's, it's all, go ball, come on, go ball, go ball, yeah, yeah baby. Um, she just hit a homer. What do you think about that? I love it. Anytime we score, I like it. But no, it goes back to just um, just fo the focus on the details, the focus on the energy. Just go through practice. We're we're setting up practices, so it's not we're not taking too much time on the field. It's not there's no wasted time. But at the same time, we want to get after it, get our work done, and then go home to your families. The first home run of the spring training era of Pedro Grafal. Uh, what does Gavin Sheets bring to this ball club? Oh, he's got, you know, big-time left-handed pop. He's a professional hitter. Um, you know, we'll see how things shake out, but he's certainly a part of this. You said something interesting going into the spring. You want to see mistakes. I've never heard a manager say they want to see mistakes in spring training. Why is that? Well, I just made one right here. I was supposed to come here in the bottom of the second, and Billy Hamilton had to go get me. So, um, yeah, I want to see all kinds of mistakes so we can so we can correct them. Maybe next time you call me, I won't. Billy, Billy won't have to come get me. No, nah, but you know what? I, you got new rules here. We got uh, a bunch of stuff going on. I want these guys to go out there, play free, and you know, if they make mistakes, I want to go fix them the next day. You know, and that's how we're going to learn. We're all going to learn like that. So, uh, just go out, do your thing, play loose, play free, and um, and we'll we'll fix it for the next day. Of the new rules, which one do you like the most, and which one makes you? I don't want to say stay up at night, but is more taxing on you as a manager. You know what? I don't think any of them are taxing. I think they're all really good for the game. Um, you know, I I'm just curious to see how some of them are going to play out. The clock, I think the clock is going to speed up the game. I think it's going to improve the defense because the because there's there's no waste of time. Everybody's got to be focused and ready because the next pitch is coming. The disengagements, we'll see how they we'll see how they go. Um, the bigger bases, I think that one, you know, having done replay for the last three years, I I think that one's going to play a factor because so many times I saw, you know plays by an inch, inch and a half. Uh, so I think that's going to play a little bit of a factor. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm curious to see how these all, these all play out. You maybe push the running game a little more just because of the new rules? You know what? It, regardless of the new rules, we're going we're gonna to do our very best to play fast. We want to play fast baseball. Um, I spoke about that to them today. Uh, I was really happy to see uh, Moncada go first to third right there on a base hit to center field. Um, that's the kind of baseball we want to play. I mean, you know, that's... I know every now and then we'll we'll have to, you know, remind them of the type, style of baseball that uh, we're looking to we're looking to play. But um, we have capabilities of putting up a lot of runs via the home run. But we also got to we also got to learn how to win the one nothing in the two to one ball game, and and that's how you do it. How big are the little things you're speaking of, and the difference in winning and losing games doing the little things? I think it's, I think they're crucial. You know, April baseball is tough baseball. Is you know the weather you got, you know everybody's in it, everybody's competing, everybody thinks they got a chance to win. Um, you know the weather obviously is going to play a big factor. So, you know if you're blowing out a if you're blowing out a team, that's great. But if you're not and you're stuck in a pitching duel, you know what? How do you win? So those are the little things that you got to do to, um, you know, to survive April or maybe get ahead in April and then, you know, as so you get into the summer, which is whatever what all these hitters are waiting for. What's the vibe like? What's it the feel like when you're seeing the guys even in the dugout for this first game? I love it. I mean, we're talking about energy. That's what we want. Uh, we've talked about it all spring. Uh, again, we, you know, it, it's this 162 games. This is all spring and 162 games. There's going to be games where, you know, we got to kick each other in the butt a little bit. But, um, you know, for the most part, this camp's been high energy. It's, it's been no waste of time. And um, we're going to do our very best to uh, maintain that, that type of intensity. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. I, uh, I know Billy's going to be here to help me every step of the way. Billy, would you like to be a broadcaster when you're not playing? He said, of course. Of course he would. He can do everything. Yeah, look at that smile.
Could be deep for Leroy. Jason, back up to you. Ah, just short, right at the warning track. Chuck, thank you very much. Pedro, thank you very much. I thought you were brilliant that inning, Jason. Yeah, thank you so much. Let it breathe, they say, in <laughs> broadcasting school.